English made simple. It's just French. Hello Phil Man fans and welcome back to Day of the Day Day with me Phil Man in which I explain what the day of the day is today. Happy National Squirrel Day everyone. Can you believe that National Squirrel Day has rolled around again? Today is the day we celebrate the tree rat known as the squirrel. Everyone knows that rats carry horrible diseases like the plague and many other horrible things as well. But if you make that rat a little bit more hairy in the bum and then put it in the tree, all of that is forgiven. Squirrels are known for burying nuts. Presumably they steal these nuts from street vendors that sell nuts on the street and then bury them going oh you see this your livelihood it's going in the ground think you're gonna make money no it's going in the ground you know what's going in the ground next your cold dead body bozo this makes the street vendors understandably very sad as the only people they talk to are threatening to kill them and inter them in a grave and why don't the street nut vendors talk to anyone else because nobody buys nuts off the street who buys street nuts oh please Please come and eat my street nuts. Which, no, because for a start, you're selling nuts. Can you not dream big? At least you could sell, I don't know, drugs or something. And then they're street nuts. They're there rolling in sugar or something. I don't know, I'm not a nut expert. Meanwhile, you've got traffic zooming past, spewing out fumes all over the nuts, syphilitic old men staggering past, coughing all over the nuts, looking for a gutter to die in, and, as previously mentioned, street animals running up and stealing the nuts and touching them with their horrible rat hands. And you'd pay money to eat that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, I've just been told by the National Nut Council that what we just said was offensive and wrong and nuts are delicious and I would love to eat their syphilitic, polluted, tuberculosis old street nut. Yum. I unreservedly apologise to all the street nut vendors stirring their nuts in the filthy street. Red squirrels used to be the more dominant species of squirrel in the UK, but then they introduced the grey squirrel, which wiped out the red squirrel, presumably by being better at being a squirrel? I guess, I mean, I, how incompetent do you have to be to be bad at being a squirrel? You just lay around all day looking, and let's not beat around the bush here, really sexy. Really, like, unbelievably sexy. I, have you seen a squirrel? They're... Whew. I mean, they're a little bit too sexy, if you ask me. Why are squirrels so sexy? And, and that's all they do. Lie around, bury a nut, look sexy. I do those three things all the time. And it's exhausting. I'm actually going to promote it as my new fad diet. Uh, the squirrel life. Uh, it's incredibly chic. Uh, what you do is you go out and get a horrible disease crawl around a park giving it to strangers i bury my food instead of eating it and that's how you stay slim and then you just roll around in the hummus uh until you absorb the nutrients by osmosis works every time i mean then i look sexy no so now of course there's a campaign to save the red squirrel because there's a campaign to save everything now isn't there nowadays i mean why not go for the opposite instead and like teach a penguin to enjoy wearing the ring pulls from a six pack of beer or teach a seabird to eat an oil slick or teach the white rhino to hunt down the people that practice alternative medicine instead of just waiting to get shot all the time it makes sense squirrels like to hang around in parks just like the retired and perverse people and just like those other two groups they also get in a lot of fights with geese and incidentally, all three of those groups, Squirrels, the Retired and the Perverse, are making me a lot of money in the black market on the underground fighting scene. I mean, it's exactly like Fight Club. Because Brad Pitt is there. I hate Brad Pitt. Wish he'd leave me alone. You, you know what Brad Pitt is an anagram of? Bad trip. Because there's a second T. Bad, bad tr trip. A bad trip. Uh, no, no, Brad, Brad, I wasn't, I wasn't calling you. I wasn't, I was just, I was, I was, go away, go away. An interesting type of squirrel is the flying squirrel who, they can fly.
I thought I was unobserved. Just minding your own business, walking down the street, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, from geosynchronous orbit in space. Nut laser. Happy National Squirrel Day, you idiot. <laughs>